Freedom is now building homes in Dubai. I will explain why in this video and we will use Heartbeat to show you. This is an actual home, guys. This picture behind me is a 3D rendering of an active project which we are working on right now. This is not a concept art, it is real. So let me use Heartbeat Photos to show you. This is Heartbeat Photos. Let me hide the interface, just press Shift F. And now we're gonna go through all the thumbnails and I'll hide myself or make myself a little smaller so you can see everything. All right, this is the front view of the home we are building. This is in a place called The Meadows in Dubai. When you enter the front door, you will see this. This is the 3D rendering of the family room. And then we'll go turning left. We'll see the stairs in a nice marble staircase. Looking right, we're gonna build a movie room. This is for the YouTubers, guys. This will be your screening room where you can show off your products to your friends or just watch movies. Yes, this will be a standard feature in every Freedom Home. Then we have uh, the living room. You're walking down uh, towards the backyard. Then turning left, you will see the kitchen. This is a view of the kitchen. And then another view of the kitchen showing a bit of the backyard. Let's go into the backyard. This is what the backyard will look like, guys. And I'll show you a cool feature of Heartbeat Photos. You can zoom in. I'm gonna press five here and then you will see that we're zoomed in. This is a seating area. Do you see here? This is a glass wall where the pool, you can see under the water when you're in this sunken seating area. Another standard feature of every Freedom Home. Let's continue. This is another view of the backyard and I will zoom in again and you can see the seating area here. I'll go in even a little bit further. That is what you will see from this viewpoint of the pool. Now we're trying to get the pool longer. Right now I feel it's a bit too short. Uh, my goal is to make it 13 meters long. Now an Olympic pool is 50 meters. So 25 meters is half an Olympic pool and 13 is roughly half of a half. So I'd like it to be at least 25% of an Olympic pool length so you can swim laps and do some exercise. Let's go back inside the house. In fact, let's zoom in and get back inside the house. Up here, we're gonna zoom into the balcony and go in through the upstairs, okay? Let's go. So here is the upstairs. It's the master bedroom. Hope you like it with the nice cool uh, ceiling lamps. Now looking at it from the other side of the room, this is the same room. Here it is again from the uh, window looking inward and then from the wall looking towards the window. Then we have the closet. This is the walk-in closet and you walk through to the door to get to the master bathroom. Now look at this master bathroom. It's one of my favorite because of the uh, color schemes. You have the dark marble and you have the white marble with the nice veins like natural stone veins that's only possible in real marble. And I hope you like it too. Now I'm actually struggling with this bathtub. Does anyone use a bathtub anymore these days? I certainly don't. Maybe the kids do. Do we need a bathtub as standard issue in Freedom Homes, guys? What do you think? Tell me down there in the comments below about this or any other uh, ideas you may have. Let's continue on. This is now, oh, that's my wife calling. I'll just hang up on her. Don't tell her I said that. This is the uh, bedroom upstairs. Now there's four bedrooms upstairs plus the master bathroom. So there are a total of five bedrooms upstairs. This is just one of them. And uh, this is the other view looking uh, towards the backyard with the nice trees. Then we're just rotating the viewpoint here. Uh, this is looking into the room. Now this is the bathroom. Every room has its own bathroom, ensuite bathroom. And uh, this now here, we're at the guest bedroom. Now we're downstairs. This is the uh, sixth bedroom in the house, uh, the guest bedroom, followed by the guest bathroom. Now the guest bathroom also has this nice black uh, accent wall to make it a little more interesting to look at. All right, now you might be wondering what about the layout from a graphical perspective? Um, actually, wait, there's one other thing I wanted to show you. So if you go back to uh, the image here, this is a very high-res image. 
So you notice I was able to zoom in and I was able to see a lot of detail even after I've zoomed in. Let, let me show it to you again. So here I'm zooming in and you can still see a lot of detail because it's a high resolution image. But it does take a while to load. So in Heartbeat Photos, we'll have the option of having lower res photos like this one. So I'm going to flip between the two. Can you tell the difference? Oh, I got to hide the interface here. Shift F. Okay. So one, high res, two, low res, high res, low res, high res, low res. The keys are in the low res, you're kind of missing, like if, if I zoom into this mesh, it's a bit hard to see in the high res one when you zoom in then the mesh will be very clear uh, here. You see the difference? You have one, two, one, two. Okay, this is very clear, right? So in the high res, you, you see all the details of the mesh. Anyway, that's just a feature of Heartbeat Photos, and uh, I hope you'll like it when we release it, hopefully next month, for everyone to use. Okay, now let's get to the drawings. So this is a picture of the current villa, the one I'm showing you with 3D renders. This is how it looks right now, with no upgrades. This is how we want it to look after we're done with all the renovations. Big difference, right guys? Let me show it to you again. Before, after, before. Now in the before, I, I wanna point out these three steps. You, you see this, one, two, three? My, my finger doesn't go that far <laughs> with my green screen, sorry guys. But I'll show you the drawings uh, of these three because you notice in this one, it's flat. We've squared off the villa. What that means is that we've added over 800 square feet of built up area by enclosing the villa, making it square and having it completely um, flat, no three steps. Okay, so here's the drawings. Here it is currently. Myself to the other side. Okay, so currently, oh, I gotta point this way now. Uh, currently, we have these three steps here. Oh, there it is. The, that's the edge of my pointing ability. So you see the one, two, three, right? I'll, I'll use the mouse. So this was what I showed you in the before picture. This is all backyard. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to, whoop, here, click. We're going to enclose it. So now you can see that it's completely squared off. This is what adds an extra 800 square feet built up area. So again, before, after. And now we can fit the cinema room. Do you see here there's the cinema room? Before there was no cinema room, there's just a family room. So we're kind of moving the whole family room forward to make room for the cinema room. We still have the guest bedroom down here and this is the entranceway and we've also removed all these columns. In the before we have all these different entrance hall columns which we're going to get rid of. So you have a much grander entrance coming into your new home. All right. Now this is the downstairs. What about the upstairs? This is the before. So this is the first floor. When you go up the stairs, you have the master bedroom and you have uh, four bedrooms upstairs. We're gonna add an extra bedroom. Here's how. Here is the new bedroom. Now we have bedrooms two and three here where there used to be just bedrooms one and two. Now we have, whoop, now we have a third bedroom up here. So we're calling it bedroom one, two, three, and then master and then bedroom four and then that's five bedrooms upstairs. And then one bedroom downstairs makes it six bedrooms. So again, I will show you the before, which again has that, those three steps up, ugh, up here. But we're gonna, on the first floor, also extend it to make it a square. So we have a lot more room for more bedrooms, bigger bathrooms, and just more space overall. And that's the plan, guys. We are in the process of getting permits. Uh, we just acquired this property as it stands right now, like this. And uh, let me show you a video of a video I made on the day we took possession of this home. Uh, roll it, George. It's a nice Saturday, sunny day in our new home. We just took possession of this villa and you can see the trees. It's like a forest. It feels so good to me. I actually prefer this over a lake view, why? Because you can't use the lake, but you can use this park. You can run around it. There's a basketball court right there. You could, uh, you know, have a little picnic. It's like a big backyard. So this is our backyard. It's also pretty big, but we're going to make a pool that's 12, almost 13 meters wide with a sunken seating area right there that will be have a glass wall so you can see under the water. It's 
our, pool, our neighbor has a pool, but it doesn't have that feature of the underwater seating area. It's just a regular pool. That was the backyard. You saw the amazing park that this villa faces. That's why we got it, is because of its location. In real estate, there are three important things. Location, location, and location. So I hope you agree that this forest location uh, that you have for your backyard is a great place. Now let me show you that forest, that park, which we are facing. Roll it again, George. So this is a 13 meter pool here available to the residents and their friends for, uh, for swimming anytime, 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. And so you can see it's quite long. Here is the basketball court up close. And then there's a playground in the distance with some sand and a slide, you know, for the really little ones. This is the seating, the area for a barbecue. And let's go inside here. As I said, it doesn't require any scheduling. You just come in, shoot some hoops, and get some exercise. It's a half court. And it's just nice, nice touch in this community. Look at these trees, guys. Look at this sunshine. It's so nice to live in this area. And listen, the birds. Can you hear them? I love that too. Seeing a hearing nature and seeing it, uh, <laughs> big difference from a desert. So what do you think about this, guys? Tell me down there in the comments below if you're as excited as I am about Freedom Homes in Dubai. We will be doing many of these projects. The goal is to create 20 villas like this, where we work with investors and end users who will see the quality that we're able to produce and then will invest in getting either this for their own family when they move to Dubai, or they will invest and make a profit from the sale of the villa because obviously when we buy the villas, we buy them for a lot less because they're in bad condition typically. And then we sell them for a lot more when we've renovated them into this high-end, beautiful, much bigger built-up area with private pools. Anyway, all that stuff uh, makes adds a lot of value to the villa. So. Uh, we hope uh, you see why we're doing this. Uh, right now, Dubai is very strong in real estate. It's a booming market, more than almost any other place in the world today. And so we're taking advantage of that. And uh, I hope you can take advantage of it too. If you do come to Dubai and you're looking for a home like this, let us know. Simply email support at freedom.tm and we can answer all your questions and give you a lot more details about these projects. As you know, Dubai is a big city. There are many locations and we're focused on the meadows, but there are many good locations depending on your budget, depending on whether you're a single guy or girl or a family man like me. You guys know I have four kids, right? All girls ages six, 10, 12, and 13. Yes, we have our first teenager. So yes, for me, of course, what is important for my kids is important for me when I'm choosing a place to live. Till the next episode, Freedom Family. Stay safe, stay fit. Did you go to the gym? I did. Today, I was at the gym doing my aerobic and then my weight training, and I'm feeling great. And I know you will too if you get off your butt and actually get some exercise. By exercise, I don't mean just go for a walk. I mean sweat. You have to have a shirt drenched in sweat for it to count as a good workout. That's exactly what I do. When I go to the gym, I come with a dry shirt. When I leave the gym, I don't leave the gym until my shirt is completely wet. Every piece of dryness is gone. So I encourage you to follow the same routine. Push yourself, guys. You can do it. It's only an hour of your day or maybe even 30 minutes if you do it quickly. Just get off your butt and get some sweat. That's my suggestion. It doesn't have to be the gym. It could be jogging. It could be swimming. It could be playing a sport. Badminton is my favorite sport. What's yours? Anyway, enough of that. You get the idea. Stay fit, stay healthy. You'll feel great. 
And uh, yeah, uh, I've been in Dubai now five years. We came in 2018 and now it's 2023. You can do the math. We spent almost six years in Manila in the Philippines. So we're almost as long in Dubai as we were in, in the Philippines. But I expect we'll be here at least another five years, maybe more. So uh, we'll, we'll beat out our time in the Philippines uh, next year. Anyway, hope you guys found this helpful. I'll make more videos about the Freedom Homes in Dubai as we make progress. Until then, stay happy. No, don't stay happy. Okay, I'll be very quick about this. Happiness is bad. Why? Well, because happiness is result reliant. If your goal is to be happy, you will spend much of your time being unhappy because you have to get X to be happy. Joy, on the other hand, is something that's a constant. It's always in process. It's the feeling you get when you're doing the things that you're fashioned to do that doesn't depend on a result. It is not result reliant. For example, I feel joy seeing my kids. Whether they fail at something or they're successful at something, I feel the same joy. Now, I am happy when my kids get an A and I'm not so happy when they get an F. So that's the difference. I feel joy in both cases. It doesn't matter what grade they get, but I feel unhappy if they get a poor grade. So, happiness and joy. Look for things that you find joy in, regardless of the result. Hope this helps. Till the next episode, I am George, and you've been watching... The Georgia. Ooh, you dreaming about love. Yeah. Click that I to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.